Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver. Today we're going to be playing Treasure Hamster. So Treasure Hamster's ability is for every time you get every time you get to select a treasure, you get two options that are one level higher out of the three options. Um, and yeah, we're going to start with uh, pretty much the best start you can get is uh, flipping over a talking frog with a sweet oranges, getting a six six on uh, on turn one here. Generally beats everything other than like you know the same thing on the opposing side. Uh, so we're gonna win a couple of combats here early, deal a little bit of extra, a little bit of uh, damage to uh, to our opponents here. We should, probably should have locked this demon deal, but I kind of wanted to roll and see if we could hit a, uh, a triple or uh, or a pair or something. Um, getting this pair of bluebells uh, is fine. Like bluebell is like is okay early. I think um, you definitely want to get it combined pretty quickly. I think it's a much better unit when it's combined. It's not taking up as much space. And actually, uh, I mean the stats still don't matter, but at least then you're. Uh, you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck rather than having two one ones on the board that charge two very small stars although bluebell it's actually kind of good to hang on to bluebells um just because their stars fire so quickly um speaking of stars there's a there's a puck as well and we took a uh we took a plowman there um the turn before just because i think it's pretty good early especially when you have the shield page for a support um because generally people are going to have some uh, some smaller characters and it's going to be able to to get pretty big and carry you through at least a couple rounds of combat. It does fall off pretty quick, but um, we are going to find a second puck here. Um, and sorry, I, as I was saying, uh, it's, it's good to keep the bluebells around just because of how fast their stars fire off. Um, because later on, if you uh, if you end up in stars with a uh, with an Oberon, getting that Oberon attack um, added to those bluebell stars can be very very good. Having stars that fire off in just three attacks is like really is a, it's just much better than say like Star Child, um, especially when the difference is pretty negligible damage wise. Um, you do need you need a way to enhance the stars though in uh, in Oberon though, so that is something to to keep in mind. But uh, but yeah, Blue Bell definitely uh, has its place in the sort of end game stars build. There's another puck. We're just gonna. I mean, we're just gonna go full stars here. I mean, we're on 3.2. Uh, I I could have locked the other puck, but I decided not to. Also, when we triple, we did we did get our puck triple, and uh, we took a, uh, a plus four plus two over a double caster. Um, double caster. I mean, generally, double caster is like an okay utility treasure, but I think the plus four plus two overall to our board is just gonna be a lot more impactful. Um, generally, the double caster treasures just aren't that good since you can't double cast combat spells. Um, double casting some of the utility spells can be good though. Like it, it does it it does sort of incentivize you to use some of your uh, your like stat spells and whatnot. And like getting double demons deals or double coins is is, is kind of nice. Um, we did sell off uh, a bunch of our uh, characters. Uh, basically anything that wasn't a husky or generate doesn't generate stars. We did sell off to uh, to get our star girl here, as we saw it pretty late. But we get gifted this dandelion, which is uh, fantastic. Exactly what we wanted. So Star Girl is gonna get plus one plus zero. Oh. It's a ranged character that gets plus one plus zero oh for every star that we charge, and Dandelion is a support that is gonna let us charge extra stars, or uh, whatever is uh, whatever it's supporting. So we're gonna be able to uh, charge up a bunch of stars with these pucks and this blue bell, and then they're they're gonna overcharge and get a little bit stronger. So it's uh, it's definitely fine to uh, to overcharge your stars. In fact, that's kind of what that's kind of how you increase your stars damage early. Is uh, you want to be able to charge just like a whole bunch of them. Um, it is important to note that like uh, Bluebell and Star Child, um, two two uh, star generators that generate at the beginning of combat, they uh, they say that they don't they won't overcharge stars. So like if you have seven stars and they just won't generate them, so you do have to keep that in mind. And we do find the dandelion triple pretty early here. Uh, we're just going to take a shooting star. We're just going to generate more stars. Pirate map is obviously always good. We do have the health for it, but I mean, I think uh, I think taking the shooting star is just kind of a no-brainer here. Um, we're already doing stars things, and it just kind of feeds into our game plan. And we would have to find another or two more treasures for to, to make the treasure map work. Even though, like, it would allow us to get to uh, to a higher level treasure probably a little bit earlier than we might. Normally, although we are treasure hamsters, so treasure hamster finds level seven treasures kind of uh, on its own. So there's another puck. I mean, I don't know if we necessarily want to take another puck here. Uh, like, like we would like to find uh, 
star catcher at this point, which is uh, whenever a character charges a star, it gets plus two, or for every two stars they charge, they get plus two, plus two, um, which is a very, very good star treasure, um, and something that you really want early, and a, a really good way, or a good, good reason to go into stars early, um, and still, still good later, just because we're charging so many, especially with this golden dandelion, but, uh, I mean, we only get, we only, uh, I guess a level three triple would only give us one look at a level three treasure because we are a treasure hamster, so it's not that big of a priority. Um, we did find our bluebell triple, finally, which we are going to take. We're going to take bottled ship here. It's going to let us look at more treasures, of course. We can pick the most relevant one. Um, we're very, very healthy here. I don't think we've lost a combat yet, and, uh, I mean, we've taken some damage, but that's pretty much just from demons deals, I think. Um, we pick up a Narcissus there, just as a, a natural five pair, and we are just gonna we are just gonna take the puck. Like we're down to five gold, we can take the health spell, and there's another puck there. But and yeah, if we just decide to uh, decide to to take it, that is gonna let us see an extra level three treasure if we do tr end up tripling this puck. And uh, again, uh, we would still take a star catcher at this point, I think. I think with the amount of stars that we're generating on, yeah, even for the next few turns, I'd still be happy to take Starcatcher. We do find the Narcissus triple though, and uh, there's a harp and a mage, mage gloves for, uh, for our level six treasures. I mean, we have two level five treasures. We have the new symbol of unity, which uh, is kind of an interesting treasure. Um, you do, it only works with very specific things, basically just uh, high demon and uh, angelic commander at this point in the game. Um, but we are going to speculate on it here because we are still on level five. So I think uh, if we can find a high demon, then we can kind of build into uh, into a high demon uh, angelic commander uh, type thing. Yeah, basically symbol of unity is the angel and demon treasure since uh, it, it only works with auras now and uh, doesn't count puffs or cats. So. So basically that, that just leaves angels and demons and there's not too many there's like the level three angel and demon that each have an aura i mean some of the angels uh, are the angel on level four does have an aura as well um but other than that i think that's it for auras it's just angelic commander like archangel and uh, arch demon they're not auras so so those unfortunately do not really work with the uh, with symbol of unity we didn't find a high demon unfortunately there's another dandelion which i did briefly consider but we just roll past it and we get rewarded with an oberon here oberon is going to add his attack to every star that we charge so that's going to be a big power spike for our stars and i think uh with that we we want to we want to get this uh upgraded bluebell in front of our uh, dandelion i also considered the merlin there just because like merlin would in would uh would basically um make our dandelion boost apply an extra time uh, I did. Uh, I didn't get the bluebell in front of the dandelion there, but uh, but I definitely should have. We still get um, a, a, a few a few stars that uh, that get to fire off nice and quick here. Opponent is pl also playing stars and also has uh, has found a golden king as well as a uh, a dark twig there. So that is uh, that is uh, an issue. I mean, stealth is kind of the boogeyman of the metagame right now. Um, just like uh, the the stealth comp with the fire mage is just really really oppressive right now. It's it's pretty much the best thing that you can do. It's the easiest easiest thing to get into in the world, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, I'm pretty sure like 90% of the games that I've played in the last few days have lost have been, have been have gone out to uh, to exactly fire mage stealth, and uh, it's uh, to say I'm sick of it is is a, a gross understatement. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're gonna charge up some some pretty big stars here Our, because we have the shooting star Of course, we, we've actually been on the lookout for summons this entire time and we only just find one We just finally find a, uh, a catnip in a bottle here, which uh, like if we'd seen one early at any earlier We definitely would have snapped it up uh, We're not really interested in the cat queen though. Like we're not we're not cats. We are uh, we are basically just uh, I mean cats cat stars sort of cat stars like generally cat stars is uh, uses um, cat queen as well, so I hesitate to call it cat stars. We're just uh, summon stars, I guess, or shooting star. Um, and also, when we tripled the Oberon, I was, I was talking about stealth, but uh, we did take a golden mimic there. So that's just going to double up on our shooting star. So we're charging two stars and adding uh, double Oberon's attack to uh, to each of them, which is uh, which is going to be very, very good. As you can see, I mean, we're, we're charging uh, ver some very powerful stars. And uh, we do have the blue bell in front of the dandelion now, so the, the first wave of stars is going to fire off very quickly here. 
And if they attack into our puck immediately, um, that like like we're just gonna get um, a bunch of value added to those uh, those cheap stars as well. And you can see it's enough to take down even a very impressive dog board. So the bluebell uh, bluebell stars are real, is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, there's a star child, but we have no interest in that. We're we're getting it done with just with 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 our bluebell just fine. Uh, I think we would probably take a, uh, or I guess, um, yeah, we we would have taken a princess or yeah, princess Titania, if uh, if we'd seen it. Uh, I think is it a princess? I don't know if it's princess. Anyways, Titania, we would say we would take that if uh, if we saw it. That just charges an extra star for every time you charge a star. Um, but uh, that would definitely go in over Star Child, which has gotten pretty large. Uh, Two hundred and seventy attack there. We're gonna change heroes now. Um, we did take this uh, Celestial Harp the second time in history. Anyone's ever taken that? Um, because we only have two. Lo we only have. I mean, we did have it active. So, um, and with the Golden Mimic, that's gonna be uh, plus uh, plus twenty eight, plus twenty four to our entire board, which is uh, which is a huge, huge boost. And of course, uh, Oberon adding double his attack to all our stars means we're actually gonna crush this pretty big dwarf board um, with relative ease. We're finally starting to find our uh, our summons now. We can we can kind of get out of puck. Um, also worth noting that uh, the uh, the characters that die in front of that dandelion they do get um, the extra extra star charges from dying in front of dandelion. So so there's sort of an argument to uh, to put summons in front of the dandelion, maybe even instead of the uh, blue bell. But I mean, I really like the uh, the stars going off that are going uh, super early. Um, it's possible we should have just taken the battle song sword and uh, changed our buff um, Just th so that way we can start playing other level sixes I mean, we don't have another level six, but like we couldn't we can't play this uh, this other cat cabinet um, Also, we couldn't play a titania if we see it so and there's that that stealth fire mage we do get pretty fortunate here and uh, It doesn't hit our Oberon and uh, but I'm, I mean it might not even matter actually if they hit our Oberon with the stealth mage or with the uh, the fire stealth fire mage with all that attack, um, because because of the blue bell, because we're charging those those uh, those stats or stars uh, so so, so uh, early, um, basically like we're gonna be able to wipe out their comp like relatively uh, relatively in relatively short order, and with the stars that we just uh, we just accumulate uh, in the beginning, we are gonna uh, for or we're gonna abandon this uh, celestial heart buff and just throw all our summons in though. Just in case, and we're playing uh, we're playing a chair anyways. But it looks like uh, the opponent kind of realized that even if they hit our Oberon, our stars are just big enough to uh, to wipe out their board, even uh, even if they hit the Oberon. So uh, yeah, there we go. We get there. We managed to beat the uh, the boogeyman. We beat the stealth fire mage. Um, it helps. I think they were playing a golden king. I think they were playing down a unit. So that uh, that makes uh, makes our stars a lot better against them. So, so yeah, our matchup uh, matchup ends up good. We uh, we get there with stars. Don't need to play a cat queen or anything. Just uh, just a bunch of summons. I mean, uh, double or tripling up our uh, our shooting star treasure uh, definitely helped there uh, with the uh, Sinbad enhancing it as well as the gold mimic enhancing it. So we have basically three instances of shooting star. Just uh, allows us to generate a lot of stars whenever anything dies. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I would very, very much appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.